Hi all, you must have heard about Langchain, the fastest growing AI framework that has over 50,000 stars on GitHub. The company started in October 2022 and has already crossed a valuation of over $200 million. But why should you care about Langchain and why should you learn about it? Well, in this video, we are going to understand what is Langchain and why should you care about Langchain. The primary definition of Langchain goes as it is an AI framework that enables you to integrate language models such as large language models, Google Bard, ChatGPT into your own custom applications. It has two primary properties being data aware and agentic. By data aware, it means say for example, you want to build a chatbot like ChatGPT. Now ChatGPT is already trained on a corpus of data, but you want the same chatbot model on your own custom data, on the data that is specific to your own requirements. Langchain enables you to integrate the power of ChatGPT along with your own data. This makes it data aware. The second property is being agentic. You could integrate your applications easily with Google search engine, Wikipedia and other tools to make it interact with the environment. These are the two primary properties of Langchain that makes it powerful and creates an abstraction over the application that you want to build using language models. Now there are six primary functionalities that the Langchain framework provides. Now the primary functionalities or the six functionalities of Langchain have been put together as six different modules and they enable us building excellent applications allowing abstraction and interfacing with multiple language models as well as chaining them. Let us look at them one by one. Also, we shall go through some of the examples as to how you can build and how you can make use of these modules. Okay, so the six capabilities include the modeling interface, which enables easy and streamlined access to language models from various platforms such as OpenAI, Hugging Face, etc. Now you need APIs from these particular platforms. Say for example, Hugging Face, you need the API of Hugging Face Hub. From OpenAI, you need OpenAI API. Some of these are free to use for a limited duration. Others are paid. So in this particular example, I'm going to show you how you can create your own Hugging Face API key and make use of it. So if you open your Hugging Face web page or the main page of Hugging Face, there over log in into the Hugging Face website go over to the settings section and under settings on the very left you will find access tokens under access tokens you can go ahead and create a new token i have already created a token here which we have used in this tutorial okay so it is very simple you just need to create an api and the api key and then we we'll, i'll show you how to use it similarly you can get an a open ai api key since i have already surpassed the free version of OpenAI access token. So in this particular module, I'm not going to use OpenAI access token, right? Otherwise, it's going to incur some charges. So we'll focus on Hugging Face API token. Okay, so now the very first capability, the modeling interface for this, we need to Im import Langchain. And you don't need to import OpenAI here currently because we are not working with OpenAI, rather we are working with Hugging Face. Okay, so for in order to use the API key of Hugging Face in a manner that is hidden, that is kept private and not visible on the screen, we are using a library known as GetPass. This GetPass keeps the API token private as you are seeing that these dots represent my API key and these are hidden from the screen. Okay, I will set my Hugging Face API token under os.environ and set this API token here. Now once you run this, it will ask you to pass the API token which you get from the Hugging Face main page from here and you just paste it there. Right, your environment is now set with Hugging Face API token. Okay, we'll, we'll go to the modeling interface section and then we'll go back to the other capabilities after this. Okay, so under the modeling interface, let me show you an example how you can build your own particular, uh, how you can interface language models from other platforms into your Langchain. Okay, so we are importing Hugging Face Hub from Langchain. This is an interface that is provided here. Next, we need to create a language model object. Okay, 
So under this language model object, we need to pass the repo ID. This repo ID is nothing but the name of the model that you find here. So under hugging face model section, currently we are using a text generation model. So we go to the text generation section and these are the models that you can use. Just specify the name of the particular repo. For example, GPT-2 or TII, TUA, Falcon 7B, similar and so on and so forth, right? You can use any models that are accessible by the API token, okay? Now, currently I'm using a stability AI stability AI model, this stability AI model generates code, right? It, it is, it helps you to write Python code or code in like programming languages, right? So I'm specifying import torch and in the next line, I'm specifying torch.nn as nn. So this is my prompt. Now I'll pass this prompt to my LLM, LLM model and you see it returns as import torch.nn.functional as f. Why? Because primarily when you write programming and when you are working with PyTorch, you import these three modules from the PyTorch library, okay? So it, it just replicates and tries to give you a sense of the next line possible, right? The other capability or the other module that makes it LangChain so powerful is the prompt module. So under the prompt module, you can create prompt templates, you can serialize, you can optimize, as well as you can manage prompts. Prompts enable you to get meaningful results from language models. You see, if you just specify a particular uh, any random input to the language model, you will get output, but that uh, output will not be as relevant. So in order to make it relevant, we perform prompt engineering and find out certain prompts that work better over others. Now, in order to use that prompt as a standard template and reuse it again and again iteratively, you create a prompt template just as we are creating here. So we are specifying a template name a market leader that makes product. Now this product is will be considered as a variable. How? We call this prompt template object and consider our input variable as product and we specify the template. So when you complete this product by passing the variable value, it makes the complete prompt template here. Name a market leader that makes computers. Now when you run this iteratively, you can just change the variable values and then get multiple prompts based on the prompt template. Similarly, I have written here an email prompt template. So you can go ahead and work around with this and make your own prompt templates, right? The very third module or the third capability that makes LangChain so powerful are the chains. LangChains, the, by the very name of LangChain, you get that LangChain allows you to integrate or s combine multiple sequence of calls. Now, these sequence of calls could include prompt templates, could include language models, could include memory memory operations. So multiple things can be combined together into a chain and that is what the capability of an application you would look for, right? You would want to merge a sequence of tasks in as one and get it running in a single instance. So chaining allows blank chain in order to create a sequence of operations here. The fourth or the uh, one of the very vital modules I would say here that LangChain provides is the memory module. These memory modules help you store the conversational logs. So for example, you specify, uh, you uh, say for example, you're talking to your friend. Now you talk about a particular, uh, your another friend while referring about him, you make a conversation. Now your other friend knows who you are referring to, right? So this is the context that you have set for your, for in, for your conversation and because that you have a memory of your conversation, you can recall that who are you referring to, right? So memory in LangChain enables you to create conversational logs and these are very useful when you are building chatbots using LangChain. We shall make a separate video on how to create a conversational chatbot using LangChain. But for that, you need to make sure to subscribe to the channel now and hit the bell icon so that you stay tuned and never miss a video. Now, here is an example of the conversation chain that I created. This may or may not make much sense because this, this is a very generic model that we are using currently. We are using a GPT-2 based model. So the results might not be as good as you would expect with GPT-3 or GPT-4. Okay. So these are the four capabilities that we talked about so far. We talked about the modeling interface. We talked about prompts. We talked about chains. We talked about memory. Now, two additional modules. One of them is indexing. 
so indexing in lang chain as we talked about it is data aware so you can include your own data or you can enable contextual information for your model in order to understand in order to be more generic for your use cases like for example lack of contextual information such as access to particular documents or emails is one of the drawbacks of llms now if you give access to those particular documents or emails then your llms become much more powerful in understanding what you are trying to mean here langchain provides vector stores to store these information as documents and then later index them okay when we talk about conversational bots we'll go about how to index it and we'll see a proper example there agents and tools agents and tools just help you to interface with other applications such as google search engine imagine that a language model that is trained on historical information is capable of being aware of the present happenings you can integrate a search engine that will help your language model to understand what is happening in the current scenario and fetch relevant information based on that so isn't it very powerful hope you learned about the six modules and you understand why lang what is langchain and what makes langchain so powerful with this if you like the content make sure to give it a thumbs up see you in the next lecture have a nice day bye bye jai hind